it and then find yourself that comfortable seat. And we say in Sri Yoga, it's Ahimsa Asana. And Ahimsa is a Sanskrit word meaning non-violence. So how can we make every pose and every breath a non-violent act? Actually, we want to have everything in life to be non-violent. It just will create more peace in our mind and around our soul. Take pillows underneath the knees, blocks, anything that really makes it a tiny little bit easier so we can really concentrate on the most essential thing, which is how calm can I be right now? Arriving at that present moment. It's really no other moment exists. Past and future are just fictions in our mind. You say, no, past really happened. But really, you know, think about how we recall an event. That person says it was really nice. The other person says, oh, I did, really didn't enjoy it. So it's just memories in our memory bank. So we want to let go of all this in the past. And also the future, nobody knows. So we also want to let go of all that what is coming. What we really can indulge in is that present moment. And as soon as our mind takes us back or forward, bring it back with all the love and care and invite yourself to rest into that present moment, to rest in yourself. No judgments. Wide open heart. Calm, clear mind. Natural breath. Feel that effortless breath down into your abdomen. With the natural breath, Give yourself permission to relax from a very deep point from the nervous system. And you can top that by inviting yourself with the question, how calm and relaxed can I be right now? And with every moment, you invite yourself to let it be a calm and peaceful moment. Once we have created that calm and peaceful environment in ourselves, and for some of us, it depends how tight our workload was, it depends how busy we were or what's going on in our life today. That creating that natural breath can take a while because the core is maybe tense and it's not going down into that lower lungs. Be patient with yourself. But once you have developed that inner calm and peace, Allow yourself to deepen your breath into a complete breath. And that symbolizes that we want to live our life to the fullest. We want to take in to the maximum and we want to let go of all the things that don't serve us to, to the maximum. With each inhalation, we breathe in oxygen, also minerals, 
that entire mixture of air is just a miracle. But in yoga we say we breathe in far more. We breathe in life energy. We breathe in universal energy. And really it connects the outer world with the inner world. When you breathe that complete breath, just think of each breath like a miracle. And be so grateful for this miracle to happen. That life to happen. And let's don't waste it in, in getting pulled down with heavy thoughts and worries. Let's don't waste it being miserable. Yes, we may have little faces, and then we just decide really conscious to take that miracle of life in a real positive and high vibration because life deserves it and you deserve it too. That is sound of the Chai. Are ready. Exhaling, curl your chin in, round your neck. Inhaling, lengthen, lower, middle, upper neck. And just repeat. You lift your chin, but don't lift it too high. So you don't choke your neck. You want to just lift it to a beautiful degree that you feel a bit of a stretch here at the front of the throat. And that's very individual for each of us. Next time, when you're in neutral, stay there. Exhaling right ear to the right shoulder. Inhaling left ear to the left shoulder. Loosening that beautiful neck, letting go of any weight you carry on the shoulders. Being relaxed in the jaw, sometimes just biting the jaws creates tension in the neck. Sometimes we have that habit to pull the shoulders to the ears and that really makes it tense in the neck and shoulders. Sometimes we slunge and that makes the shoulders come forward to really open the chest. Beautiful. Back in neutral, turn your chin to the right and then draw half a circle along your chest to the left and change again. And then let your eyes relax, your jaws relax. And most of all, also around that heart, be really relaxed. How calm and peaceful can I be with everything that is on at the moment? Beautiful. Next time when your chin is at the sternum, lengthen and lift your head up. If you have a crossed leg position or an asymmetrical position, Practice the other side. And now we go into eye movements. A lot of tension, especially when we sit on the desk, come from our eyes. So inhaling, look up to your eyebrows. You can practice the eye movements behind closed eyes or open eyes. And exhaling, lower your gaze down. If you are wearing glasses, that's a good time to put your glasses to the side. In, up, and exhale. 
think of relaxing our vision. We take so much information in through our eyes that we easily come into an overflow with all these inputs. These eye movements are an invitation to let go of any new input, especially when we practice with closed eyes. Just a symbol that we stop for the moment to associate with the outer world and we go more inward with the inner world. And then go right and left, looking into the far, far right corner and the far, far left corner. Beautiful. Then look at the right upper corner and left lower corner. And then change diagonal line. Why is it important to feel, be aware that we have an inner world and an outer world? We often can't change what happens in our outer world. But we can change our inner world. How do we react to a third thing? How calm and peaceful do we remain? How joyful can I be? And then look to your north, and to the furthest point away, and to the north, and to the furthest point away. Bring your hands together and create friction between your palms and really feel you want to create some warmth in your hands and just feel how much do you need to rub and create that until it's really warm and fiery between your hands and then you bring these warm buzzing hands on top of your eyes you can rest your entire head into your hands and then let your eyeballs really relax All the muscles around your eyes, the eye nerve that goes from the eyeball back into the brain, the entire brain relax, relax your neck muscles, relax the top of the shoulders. Beautiful, and then slowly lift your head, open your eyes. From here, we hinge forward into cat. If your knees are fine, you can lift yourself up and reach forward into cat. If you want to go with a different version because you may have problems with your knee, you're going to bring your front knee up. Go to the bend knee side and really go all the way there until that knee is on the ground. Then reach forward and then come into cat. Make sure every movement is a conscious movement. Moment by moment is important. From here, press your hands into the mat. Tuck your toes under. Lift back, mountain heel press. So we lift up and while we go into mountain lift, we lower the right heel down. We lift both heels up, and while we lower the left heel down, we lower the spine down. And now go inhaling up, and exhaling down, and you change 
even flowing both sides. Feel the stretch over your heels, over the Achilles and the calf. Next time when you're there with your right heel, press right side mountain heel press. Long deep breath. And then change other side. Beautiful. Keep pressing. Hold for three more breaths. Raise both heels up, lower both heels down, long deep breath, spread your fingers wide, push your hands forward, your waistlines back, and if you have any lower back issues, you may want to bend your knees and send your sit bones high up. And from here we go exhaling, cat tuck, round your neck, chest, tuck the tailbone and come down, cat tuck. Now feel your cat tuck, every vertebra is pushing up. Your shoulders are pushing to your hips and your hips are pushing to your shoulders. And then lengthen from the base. And sway back into child. Once you have arrived in child, bring your right hand to your left hand and lean into your right side. Your forehead is on the floor or on a pillow. And of course, any time if you need a pillow between your calf and thighs, you can have a pillow or a block there too. Now feel the stretch over your right side and let your breath flow, inviting that breath into that right side of your body. Beautiful, back to center. And bring your left hand to your right hand, lean into the left side and feel the stretch from the hips to the lower ribs, from the lower ribs to the armpit, from the armpit to the little finger, facial muscles relax. Back at center, inhaling, roll up, natural seat, round neck. Chest, tuck the table, move your knees forward and lengthen from the base. Bring your right hand, I just turn around so you can see me better. Bring your right hand out to the side and let the palm look back. Bring the hand into the back and you grab with your left hand that right forearm or the right elbow. So now we're gonna tr we are trying to open that front of the chest here and stretch the outside of the upper arm. I'm gonna turn around so you can see where my arm is. You have different versions. The most basic version is having the arm just straight. The next version is to have the hand between the shoulder blade and reaching, working really upwards. It can be anywhere in between these two versions. And you may want to stay here. Or you bring your left arm out to the side and up. Turn your palms back, bend your elbow and get hold onto your fingers. If that requires any help, a towel, a sock, a pillow, you can use that to just create more length. Now hold your lower belly in and don't overarch in that lower back. Feel your head is not collapsing forward, it leans back against that hand. Beautiful, two more deep breaths here. Feel you want to open here that right front of your chest and feel where else you feel that tightness. Excellent. From here, keep that right arm in the back. Lift your left arm up. Once it two-thirds down, 
The right arm releases too and they both move forward onto your chest. And from there we go for the second side. Bring your left arm out to the side and bring it back. Take your right arm and just find that first stretch. Find that second side, it's maybe totally different to the first side. And we are aiming to create here a length from the sternum to that shoulder. And I really quite like that touch on my body to create that openness here. Then it's that arm going inward and that can be supported with your right hand. You may want to stay here because you already feel a brilliant stretch. If you want to go ahead to the second side, if you know you need a belt, pillow, take it all the way up. Turn your palm forward or backward and then bend your elbow. And then hold either your fingers, the belt, the pillow. And then work on the spinal alignment first. It's very tempting, I show it from the side, it's very tempting to collapse and stick these lower ribs out. But you want to have a good alignment in that spine and we want to have that natural alignment where we have sacrum back of the heart and back of the head in one line and the lower back is going a bit inward and the neck is a bit going a bit deep. Three more breaths in the pose. Excellent, and then slowly release. First, bring that top arm up. Lower the top arm two thirds down, then release your right. So both arms come forward onto your chest, even flow. Hinge forward from your hips, hands in a arm. Exhaling, bend the elbows and bow down. Inhaling, push up. Exhaling, cap, tuck, crown, lower, middle, upper back. Inhaling, lengthen from the base. And now repeat. Ex, cat, bow. Make sure you don't rush up. Slow, even flowing up. Ex, cat, tuck, even flowing, vertebra by vertebra, tuck. In, cat, lengthen from the base. And X bow. Now make sure that when you bow, you don't go too far down so you create shoulder tension. Also, if you need some help with your wrists, make fists with your wrists. You can bow with your fists, you can even flowing lift up, holding the fists. And you can do a cap tuck and cap with your fists. Repeat. In child asana, inhaling roll up natural. See, in case you can't do it because of your knees, please come straight into cap. Exhaling, lengthen. Now make sure when you lengthen, we go when we lengthen into natural alignment. Make sure that you really come with your, that you really create a space here between thigh and your front of the hips. Sometimes we uh, don't come all the way up, back and then we overarch here. Our lower back most likely doesn't like that. So really roll up all the way and then lengthen, so you create that space between thighs and belly. And then you need a little bit of belly strength to really keep your nice upright position. From here, hinge forward, and that hinging forward is a lot of toning of the core too. Hands in a arm, and feel the holding with the core. Don't go quick, you miss all the strengthening transitions. Basic slant, make a diagonal line between Knees, hips, shoulders, neck and head. And now tuck the tailbone, really tone the core and 
while they tuck, the chest really lifts up, tuck strongly. Good, from here, bend your elbows, don't let them stick out. Bring the elbows back while your chest lowers forward, thighs lower first, then your chest forehead. Inhaling, Cobra 1, ground your groins, lift your chest. Exhaling, face down. Inhaling, locust, stretch your legs back, lift your legs up. And exhaling, lower. Good. Inhaling, Cobra 1, feel you really lengthen out of your lower back to lift. And the lift is just with your back strength. Ex lower, even flowing. In, keep your head and shoulders down. Just lift your legs up and ex lower. Now repeat in your own breathing rhythm. If you have lower back issues, you can feel either do I want to tone my core here to support or a lot of people with lower back issues really like the pillow underneath the belly. If you feel for your lower back, the lifting of two legs is too much, you just lift one leg and alternate sides. Feel every inhalation lifts, the exhalation lowers, even flowing lift, and even flowing lower. Next time when you are in Cobra 1, take the next inhalation to lift into Cobra 2. Sway back into child. With your next inhalation, roll up natural seat. Lengthen from the base. Hinge forward from your hips into cat. Take your blocks and sway forward into mountain. Always go through mountain lift. Send your sit bones far back and then relax your spine down. With your next inhalation, right side extended mountain. So we extend the right leg foot back and up. If you feel, mm, I don't feel today like extended mountain, just keep staying in mountain. Inhale here. Ex, curl your chin in, round your spine, lower your leg and flow with your right leg through, right side runner. Drop your left knee and lengthen from the base. Now make sure that you have just the right stance for that you get a good stretch. If it's painful in your lower back, you may just want to shorten the distance. If you don't feel any stretch and you aim for more stretch, you sit yourself deeper down. Exhaling, sway back, hips back, chest forward. Inhale. Ex, relax your spine, come forward when the knees above the ankle lengthen from the base. Repeat. Exhaling back, extended leg stretch. Inhale, ex, come forward, in, lengthen. Now keep repeating in your own breathing rhythm. So really you can maybe tuck in your tailbone. And work your chest, feel like the sternum is lifting up, the shoulders go down and back. Excellent. With your next exhalation, sway back, extended leg stretch. Good. And if you, you just sense where is that tightness today. Sometimes this back of the leg is so tight that it's 
enough to be upright. Sometimes it's nice to bend forward and some of you have a, a huge range of flexibility here so that they can bring their forearms down onto the blocks. Make sure your lumbar spine is not rounding. And then when you have created that alignment, you will feel, is it truthful for me? Or do I feel all oh, the energy is flowing here? One measurement is always, can my breath flow? How calm and relaxed, how joyful can I be here? If it's too much stretch, you bounce back. If it's too little, you are active in that inner world, searching for bigger stretch, for different stretch. Make sure you don't tighten in the shoulders. The entire back of our body is connected. The back of the calves, thighs, lower back, shoulder, neck. So when we work for our lower back, we want to make sure that the shoulders are not tight. When we want to benefit our shoulders, we want to make sure that we open the back of our legs, especially Achilles and calf. Very good. With your next inhalation, come forward into runner. Exhaling, sway back either into child or into right side, extended mountain. You choose into child would be the beginner version, into extended mountain is level one. Three more long deep breath in the pose. Your next exhalation. If you are in extended mountain, come into mountain. If you are a child, come cat tuck cat. Everybody into mountain. Inhaling left side extended mountain. Exhaling round your spine, lower your legs, step forward and through. Left side runner. Drop your back knee, lengthen your spine. Exhaling sway back extended leg stretch. Inhale. Ex come forward. In, lengthen, and repeat, X back, inhale, X forward, in, lengthen. Now, so while you go back, you Abdomen and thigh stay together so you finish the forward bend and you are back. I show once more that version. So while you go back, you feel how, see how my lower back is reaching forward and you finish with the forward bend and moving back in one row. Well, a more Basic version would be just moving the hips forward and then gently relaxing here. Let the relaxed spine come forward and then lengthening. Just see what works for you. Sometimes when your thighs are very tight, it's really good to, to isolate the movements. If we are have more openness already, then we add that forward bend into that backward movement. Very nice, 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 nice. Very good. Wow, very good. Next time when you are in runner, stay there.
modify for your individual needs. If you want to have less stretch, you just bring your back knee further in. If you want to have a deeper stretch, you bring your back knee further back. Tuck the tailbone and feel the hips are tucking, moving forward. And while you tuck and move forward, you can see how I get deeper into the stretch. If something moves forward, something has to move backward because it's a pair of opposite. So our shoulders are moving backwards and down, the sternum reaches up. And feel now the hips are moving forward, the chest is moving back and up. Hips forward and down, chest back and up. Feel the pair of opposites. So present in all life. And yoga wants to teach us to live in that pair of opposite. Without judging. Let's say our emotions. Sometimes we are sad, sometimes we are joyful. Can we accept both just as being part of the life? Not getting too attached to joy not getting too attached to our sadness. Beautiful. From here, sway back into extended leg stretch. And stay in your extended leg stretch. You choose your different height of your torso, of the blocks. Celebrate your individuality. Don't get too stuck in an outer pose. Square your hips to the short end of the mat. Have your hips over the knee, back knee. The 90 degree ankle between back calf and back thigh. Feel your sit bone stretching back, your sternum stretching forward. Sit bones back, chest forward. Beautiful. From here, exhaling, come forward. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhaling, sway back either into child. Or left side, extended mountain. And I guide you through a few clues in extended mountain. Feel both hands carrying even weight. Feel both waistline stretching back even. Feel your bottom heel pushing down. And your top leg supercharged, hugging with the muscles to the bones, have it straight, straight. Everybody, three more breaths in the pose. Make sure you don't lean to one side. Feel weight even between right and left hand. Smile in your face, a smile in your heart. Beautiful. And the one in extended mountain, come back into mountain. Everybody inhale where you are. Exhaling, cap, tuck. Inhaling, cat. Release your toes, push your feet to the floor, bring your knees apart. And then sit yourself back into tortoise. Now, just see when on the way back, you easily can bring a block between your heels so you can sit on the block. You can choose to sit on a pillow, just see what you need. From here, we go into the twist. Feel your shoulders really over the hips. Feel your sit bones grounding down, your crown reaching up. Of course, if you have any knee problems, please bring that leg straight forward or both legs forward. From here, twist towards your right. Belly button twist first, ribs follows, shoulders, arms follow, neck, 
Look into the right corner of your eyes. Double check that the shoulders are over the hips, that your sternum is beautifully lifting, that you lift from the hips into your armpits and you relax the shoulders back and down. Beautiful. Long deep breath. From here, unwind, lower middle upper back, and come straight to the second side. Double check again that your shoulders are over the hips. Feel your sit bones grounding down, that's gravity. But then you reach up and have lightness in your spine. And then intensify your twist, belly, ribs, shoulder, be gentle on your naked head. Lengthen through the waistlines up into your armpits. Relax your top of the shoulder down. Feel the shoulder blades gliding down the back of your body. Feel the sternum lifting. Long deep breath. Your next exhalation, unwind, lower, middle, upper back. Bring your hands out to the side. Now turn again so you can see me better. So you can sit in tortoise or with the legs forward to see what you need. We are bending to the right first. Lower, middle, upper back, the arm follows. When you are at the top, the palm looks down, the upper arm is along the ear, and you can choose to turn your head to the top. Then unwind from the base, lower, middle, shoulder, arm, neck and head, and you go for the second side. Feel your arm lifts, hands turns to the front, and you bend lower, middle, upper back. When you are at the top, the palm looks down, the upper arm is along the ear, the arm is straight, and you look up towards your upper arm. Of course, you don't add the neck, gentle twist in the neck if you have any neck issues. Good. And then repeat. It's exhaling, bending to the side, and inhaling back to neutral. If you need an extra breath, please just add the extra breath. Next time when you have finished from the left side, release. If your knees are further apart, lean back to bring your knees together and then hinge forward from the hips, hands in a arm, let the back of your wrist lead, come forward. And now we go into forearm mountain. From cat, lower your forearms down where your hands have been. So you want to have a shorter cat. Measure your upper arm distance so that your fingers are on the outer arm. Interlace your, sorry, bring the palms together. Don't interlace the fingers. Tuck your toes and then sway back into mountain and mountain lift. Sorry, mountain lift and then mountain. Now feel here, your head is not on the floor. Press with your forearms forward and your wrists 
points down and feel how far can you bring your armpits back. This can always be an alternative pose if you can't do mountain because of any wrist problems. Let's hold for three more breaths. Your next exhalation, come down, catcher. Inhaling, lengthen your spine like cat. Exhaling, sway back into child. Your longest, finest breath. Feel your maximum inhalation, your maximum exhalation. Inner eye gaze to the third eye, forehead relaxed. Your next inhalation, roll up, natural seat. Come your chin in, round your chest, tuck the tailbone, push your knees forward. In, lengthen from the base. In, hinge forward from the hips. Basic slant, make a diagonal line between knees, hips, shoulders and head. Resting in face down, rest head to the right. Observe the deep long breath. Your next exhalation face down. Bring your forehead down and your hands next to your ribs. Inhaling Cobra 1. Lift from the crown to the heart. Exhaling Cobra 2. Lift from the heart to the pubic bone. Now just feel how much is good for your back. And if it's just one centimeter, that's fine. If it's all the way up, it's fine, but just be really in tune with your lumbar spine. Next inhalation, feel you lengthen, the double wave starts from the lower back to the chest, to the neck and head, but don't clinch your shoulders to the ears, keep your shoulders away. And then slowly lower down. Repeat. Inhaling Cobra 1. Exhaling Cobra 2, one centimeter higher or a lot higher, you decide for yourself. Next inhalation, lengthen once more through the entire spine and exhaling, release. In Cobra 1, ex Cobra 2, it can be just a centimeter higher. And also then in inhalation, you still can lengthen from the lumbar spine into the chest, into the neck and head. And exhaling, release. Repeat. In Cobra 1. Ex Cobra 2. In double wave from the base up. And ex release. Last round. And while you release from your Cobra 2, release your arms back. Shortly before your forehead arrives, turn your head to the second side, to your left, face down, rest. Long, deep breath.
Your next exhalation, face down. Bring your hands next to your ribs, forehead down. Inhaling, Cobra 1, Cobra 2. Now when we go back into child, there is no double wave. Sway back into child. From here, inhaling, roll up into your natural seat. Lengthen from the base. Release your hands, sit towards the right. Lean far back. Now concentrate to keep your knees and ankle together to come forward. Hip lift. As many lifts you need until you are in prep to lower. And to come into prep to lower, feel that V shape between your thighs and your torso. Then tuck the tailbone under, hands on the knees or on the side. Everybody lift the heels, but keep your toes on the ground and feel vertebra by vertebra lowering down. When the back of the heart is lowering, your toes lift and you bring your hug your knees, the elbows can be wide, sorry, the knees can be wide apart. Rock from side to side. Back at center, arms T, either legs 90 degrees or feet to the ground. In both positions, bring your right thigh far over your left and see whether you can tuck these right toes under. Lift your hips and bring your hips to the right and then twist with your knees to the left. Now you can always have a block underneath this right knee. And lightly concentrate in that arrow to open from the sternum towards the shoulder. Feel the same here. Feel a long distance from your sternum to your right shoulder. We aim to get that right shoulder flat on the ground. However, Primary movement here is the spinal twist. So you want to feel a good spinal twist in your lower, middle and upper back. How relaxed and joyful can you be? Wide open heart. Relaxed, peaceful mind. Wide open heart. Relaxed, peaceful mind. From here, slowly unwind. Inhaling, partial recline. Exhaling, knees to chest. Exhaling, arms T, legs 90 degrees or feet on the ground. Left thigh far over the right. If you have straight leg, bend your knees. Everybody see that you can tuck your left toes under. Shift your hips towards the left. Twist with your knees to the right. 
to your lower middle upper back twisting now get that feeling for the left shoulder feel that distance from the sternum to the shoulder you want to open that front of the chest important for our shoulder alignment to really have these muscles long and wide beautiful for our hearts to have that sense of openness really feel a wide open heart space go into the felt sense feel the wide open heart space in your chest to intensify the twist you may want to try to bring your spinal bony spinal move um, structure more forward to the front of your body so your spine moves forward to the front of the body Relax in your jaws, your shoulder, good and neck. Your next exhalation slowly release back into knees to chest. And like always, through partial incline. Spider, lift your heels away from the buttocks and get hold onto your ankles or your pinky toe side of the feet. Now this may require that you have a pillow underneath your head so it's relaxed in your neck and shoulder girdle. This may require that you have a belt over your feet. Or a towel. Make sure you give your sacrum plate back onto your mat and depending on the flexibility you may even can feel the natural alignment in your spine meaning that the sacrum plate is grounded but your lumbar spine is lifting a little bit. Lumbar spine is lifting away from the mat. Chest is and pushing into the mat, neck is lifting slightly away from the neck mat, back of the head is on the mat. Natural alignment in our spine means the S form in our spine. Your next exhalation knees to chest. Inhale here. Once more, relax all around your heart, in your shoulders. Relax in your face. And then lower your feet down into partial recline. Reclined butterfly. And you can stay in reclined butterfly as long as you like. Anytime when you want to move out into tranquility, shanti asana, you can do so. Inhale down into this beautiful abdomen down into your pelvic girdle and exhaling imagine that you allow the air to flow into your hip joints into your thighs knees calf ankle feet out through the toes repeat inhaling down into your abdomen 
all the way down into your pelvic girdle. Exhaling, legs, knees, calves, ankle, feet. Repeat a few more rounds. Be so relaxed around that breath and energy flow. So calm and joyful. And then let go after your next exhalation of this visualization and consciously enter final relaxation. The most important pose of our class. Like when we eat, there is time afterwards to digest. Saying here, May our beautiful body absorb the benefits of our practice. And the way to support that process is to relax and let go. All the muscles from the head into the neck, shoulders, arms, Torso, abdomen, pelvic, legs, down into the feet. Give permission for all these muscles to relax. With your silent observer, observe your mind. May it stay in the now. Om Trayambakam Yachamahi 
Consciously change the breath from natural to complete breath. That movement in the body, you can do any movement you like, or just coming back, partially climb knees to chest. Send your right arm behind your head. Move your knees and hips to the right. Let your left arm follow. Stand your left leg, push with your left hand into the floor, come up. Find a comfortable seat. Let's sit one minute just in that stillness. Become fully aware of the changes the yoga practice brings into your life. And just bend your elbows and feel how the forearms come up and the hands meet each other in front of your chest. Let's dedicate our practice to the hearings of others. Think of three people you want to send some energy to. You may want to include yourself. But if you for today have a problem in your body, you may want to bring it to that area of your body and you could place, let's say it's your lower back, you just place your hands there. It's your shoulders, you just place your hands there. So send the energy where it's needed. Oh. 
there is your peace in your spirit, peace in your mind, peace in every word, and peace with every feeling in your heart. Namaste.